Okay, query's working. Okay, so as far as diagrams go, so it'll be based off of Amperish High. If you have it, if not, it'll be relatively clear because the, most of the diagrams of the Gemara are actually pretty good for the for the next couple of topics. So it should be it should be it should be clear. Okay, so we use the, the diagrams in Rashi. Okay, so now we're, we're talking about Kol Homer from between between uh, a Chatzner versus a Mavoi. So so we, can we simply say that if having majority of the wall being closed is good enough of a wall for a chatzar, shouldn't we say the same thing applies to the entrance of the mavoi? Um, so is that really a fair thing to say? Because normally we say that any any gap in the wall in a chutz is considered to be an entrance until ten, until ten, amo. Um, whereas for a mavoi, the limit of the the extent of a of a petach of an ent- of an of an opening of an entryway that's has to be if it's more if it's more than four, then it would require a. Then it would require something to um, something to make it to fix it. So can you really say that those that those are, so then we say no, it's not really comparable. So. Laman Kamrina, Laravuna. So, but rather, this bit of corner of corner of Huna's opinion. Um, who um, Rashi was Ravuna's opinion. I call Homer, Aliba demand Kamar, Le Ravuna, Braid, Rav Yoshua, Aliba, the Ravuna, Rabbe, Tamide, the Rav, the Haha, Shemaizim, the Lech, Yabole, Ravuna, Amra, Umilte, the Ravuna, Kamafarish, Ravuna, Braid, Rav Yoshua. Rather, it must be according to Ravuna's opinion, who would say that you could that you could compare the two. Um, but didn't but don't we know that Ravuna holds that the that that the gap if it has to be the right size otherwise it's no good. Ravuna braid Rav Yeshua Tam Denafshei Kamar. Rather, rather, what happened here is that Ravuna braid Rav Yeshua is explaining his own reasoning. Ravashi Amar a filu tema but mavo So rather, what could we say that um, they we are talking about a case of a mavo that's eight wide. Nami lo tzarek lachi manavshach. So you can say it's exactly eight. You're good either way. If if it's if it's if it's sufficiently long that it's that's taking the majority, then you've got omen rubal parts. So e parts nafish, and if the gap is smaller, right? So basically, if the if the gap if the wall is is four or more, then we're good. If it's less than four, they're also good. So b parts nafish need omen so my amar to shabu turbai. Rather, one say that it's exactly four on both sides. They're four exactly four. Then we get to start, then we get in a problematic uh, problematic case. Kiyadadi havale safek tivrayim and safek tivrayim halako. But no, though we say no, but either but then it still could be good either way because once something is considered to be a safek midrabanan and a safek midrabanan, we would go halako, and now and that would that would also solve that would also solve the problem. Okay. Now we're continuing on on the now we're at the two dots on the very bottom of Hayim a bit. The Amarav Chanin Barava Amarav Mavush and Nifra Smitzido Beeser Merosho. If it's with the gap, the gap is on the side. It's a gap of ten, but it's but it's the, but it's by the head Merosho by the main, the main entrance. Then it's four. Okay, so my So why do we let there be a gap in the wall of the Mavoy be more on the side rather than the main entryway into the Mavoy? Uh, so what so what do you mean? So wait, so what do you mean? Why would it be different? Could you say that an entrance is an entrance is an entrance? Who cares if it's on the front or the sides? So more of a of your the Karen's of it. Rather is if if the whole if the gap is by the by the corner. Because people tend to not make an entryway on the corner. That's not a normal way of building. So therefore, if you had a gap there, it would be much, much far more problematic. And Rav Huna says, well, this way or that way, it's a problem if, if, unless there is four. You really shouldn't argue with what I said because even Rob agreed at the time when he went to uh, Macharia and he did as I stated. That's my recommendation. So, Omer Le Rav, Bika Matzah, Vegadar Ba, 
Bagadar uh, Bagadar, right? So let's say if you if you were by in a valley, and then you box it off on both sides. So Rashi, um, okay, Bika Matza, um, Ami Ame Har Haratzim Hayu Mazalzalim Habemitzvot Vehechmir Lehen Lasot Siyak Larchikan Min Avira Kadam Agoder Bika Purtzim Lshamra. So basically, so it, it, so it, so this is an idiom. That basically, you would I'm an RS who weren't who weren't being careful with the mitzvot, so they told them that you have to. Uh, so, be, so therefore, they gave them extra an extra fence that wouldn't necessarily do anything. Kind of has if you put a wall in a valley, but the mountains on the side are still open. So yes, you may have succeeded in doing something, but it's not necessarily helpful. Amarav Nachman, Bar Yitzchak, Vatei Rav Huna, Mister Abra. So, 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 Rav Nachman says that Rav Huna said it makes sense. Ditmar. So, what, what, so, what do you mean that it makes sense? So, now we're going to give a case that so that will hopefully support us in terms of the wall on the side versus the wall, the gap on the side versus the gap at the at the, at the top of the mavoi. So, mavoi akum. So, if you have a mavoi that is bent, bent that is bent in half, as you see in the diagram on the right in Rashi. Right where there's a nice little right angle there. So Rav Amar Totokum Fulash. So you have so Rav says that if you have a bent that if it's that if it's bent the right that if it bends, then it's you you treat it the same way as if it was entirely straight. The Shmuel Amar Totokasatum that actually you treat the whole thing as if it's if this as if there's like other wall going down the middle and, and therefore we have as if we have two closed off um, mavoys. So what's the case? If you say that it's that this mavo is ten is ten wider, so then maybe you could um, maybe say in this case that Shmuel said normally it would be like a satum. So rather, what's the case where you know where you could say where you could say like um, like Rav is that it was less than ten that that area in the bend. The Kamarav Tartokum Bufulash, and that's why Rav says that it's Bufulash. Alma Pirzat Mavoi Mitido Ba'arba. So that would mean that, real, so in that case, it's, it, it's at the end, therefore we can treat it like it's 10, like it, um, because it's considered to be a hole in the side. But normally, we'd say at the beginning of any break is a problem of four. Okay, so right now let's, let's head back to the Rashi so we can, uh, so we can explain a bit more about. Uh, um, So we can so we can so we can have a bit more about the um, about what we mean by saying something is mafulash and what something is, and, once, and what does it mean by something is satum. So taratak mafulash, mavoi mafulash. This rabim have a stura at a petach mikan. It's stura of the lechi or kor mikan ekalakaman. Right. So basically, if you if you were to say that it's something that has that is that it is a now a that is a mavi mafulash. So instead of the fix we had until now of all you need is either less or correct becomes much more complicated, and you need to start having a stored petak on one side and a lech and a kor on the other side in order for it to be able for you to be able to use it for to be able to use it. What, what does mafulash mean? Open or so? Mafulash means straight. Oh, okay. So is it you, so mafulash means it's, it's it's easily accessible straight through. Um, so the question does that mean? Is it straight through fully? Is it the foolish means it simply is a so the question when you say when you say something is foolish is machloket um, in the Rishonim, whether or not the foolish means it's simply something you can go through straight without turn, you can go through meaning that it opens on one side and on the other side without having it be any stop signs or any st true stoppages versus of or like of turns that would prevent you from going fat from that. Or it's the fact that it has to be, you know, ramrod straight. So that's my cloak at Rishonim. Um, but what exactly it makes something mafulash, which will hopefully which will which will hopefully get to uh, more. Okay, so we'll see if we'll see if we have time to get through it today. If not, we'll hopefully um, get 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 um, we'll we'll cross paths this with this more more during the next Um After that, sir. Okay, so back to Rashi. Malachi of Koramikan, you need to start pet on one side and Malachi on the other side. As is mentioned um, later on, the, uh, later on in the Gemara, again we'll, we'll get to. We'll discuss it more then. Right. 
צריך תשורת הפתח, לפירוש שהוא מפורש, חברו, הווה כמפורש של תרבים. So basically what you need to do is you'd have to have a lech and a kor on each of the sides of hit the Rosh and then you'd have to have the Tzor of Petah will serve as a, true, as a gate between the two different, the two different, um, the two different Mavoys. Because otherwise if the Mavoy links to another Mavoy, then it's as if that each Mavoy is linking straight to the other Rosh that each side of the, that each Mavoy is linked to. As you see in the picture, like in the, little, the diagram in Rashi, so you see a little L bend. So there's a so there's a Rosh Hashanah on one side, a on the other side, and then, and then the thing that looks like the right the right angle. So that is what the two mavoys made up. And then at the exact at the point at the corner there where the two mavoys meet, that's where you'd have to have a Torah Peta. And according to Shmuel, that it's Torah Tokas So what would, what would that mean if it's considered to be closed already? That answer it Bakmurtokulum. You don't need anything anything to differentiate between the two different mavoys. Consider to be one, it's, it's, the bend is enough. Ela osin lechi lepitchan, the elo osin lechi lepitchan, the lo masrichim shor na patach, ela leptachim flashim, zeka gazela shetrabi. So once it's bent, as we see there in the right angle, that's enough. That as long as each of each of that, again, so assuming there's a bunch of, there's a lot of houses surrounding the mavoi, so the people on, on whoever's opening each mavoi should make sure that that mavoi is taken care of. And has a lechit to resist rabbi, but between that and the other mavoi, it's okay because we don't say that we can, that it's considered to be a mavoi mafulash unless both of them lead directly to each other. Let's not forget. Rashi gives another option that torto katsatum torto mavoi Is that because it's bent? Rabbi, is that because it's bent? That's why we're not concerned. It's not straight. Say it again. Sorry, the reason why we're not concerned is because it's it's it's. Uh, like a right angle, so we're not concerned we're going to get mixed up of that it's one mob, yes. it's distinct that it's the two mob boy. Correct. Okay, I'm just trying to and understand. The bend is enough. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Excellent point. Okay, so then Rashi has another way to explain it. Um, that he says instead that, that what, what do you mean by Tortoka Satum? Tortoka Satum, Torat Mavoy Satum, but Sarah Klaso Lechi Lak Mumito. So, Raji said that I learned this from his from his rebellion, that he is supposed to that, that the other option is is not is that when you say it's satum, it means that it's considered to be closed, but you still need to put something in between, which would mean that you'd have a lechi or a kora on each side of the mavo, the mavoys where so when the mavoys greet and, and intersect with the Rishat Rabbi, but you'd also need one in the in the in the corner because um, there are two Rishuyo that you shouldn't go between one from the other without 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 a heck air, so that's why we put a lefty there as well. Okay, so now we're going to head back to the um, right. So now we're going to head back to the Gemara and um, and, and 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 continue onwards. Okay, so okay, so. So guys, okay, so we say, but my ask, you know, so we're saying, which is the case where they're where they're arguing? Maybe we say that in, in the case where it's too large, that's when we say that it's considered to be closed. Rather, we're talking about the case where, where it's exactly ten. Um, and that's where Rav says it's considered to be fulash. Right, so that would mean that in that case, it would consider it to be a zivitzro show, and that's why it's by answer. But in general, from the side, it would have to be, it would be four. Rav Khanan Barava um, um, gives a different explanation. He says, Shani Hatam, Deka, Baki, Barabim. So the question comes down to whether or not the Rabim are going, are, are going to and from, and that's the and that, and that's and that's the case. It's a bucky by Rabbi. If many people use it as if it's as if it's a, a thoroughfare, then that's what creates the problem. Okay. If, if um, that's if, if a lot of people use it on that side, parent the opening, that's what makes the problem because then it becomes and then you would have to put a lechi there or a kora. Correct. Let's hear a core or throw it a peta. Yes. But but if it's not so used, then then four or less, then it's okay. More than it would. Right. It's saying that depending on where the where the hole is in its size, would determine whether or not people would end up using it from the side or not. 
And if as people in, use people it use it as a way to get around, the, uh, use, use a side road to get around, the, you know, when there's traffic on the highway. So then it has to be a side road that you can actually get into properly or it's not helping you. So same thing here that it has to, the question is whether or not the, is, is you're going there, is the gap wide enough and is it easily accessible enough to use it as a cut through? Okay. Okay. And then would so that the, require okay. whether or not you have to put a hecker there? Is that works? Yes. So yes. if it's, Pants if it up, is, yeah, put a hecker if it's big enough, then people are going to use it and you got to put a hecker, but if it's not, then you don't. Is that what we're saying? Yes. If it's too small, you would not need, you would not need to, but people wouldn't use it and therefore you don't need to remind people that you shouldn't be, be carrying Perfect. between here and there. Okay. Thanks. Okay, so Michlal the Rahuna Sabar Alpha Gabi Lo Baki Barabi. Uh there would still be a problem. So so that would imply that on the other hand, the Ravuna says that it doesn't that that it doesn't that it would be a problem whether people go through it because once the once you hit a certain size, once you cross a certain size, then it's a problem again. So what, why is this not the same as the Mechuk we had earlier of Rabbi Avi Rabbi Asi? Right, so Rashi. Damrin la'el im yesham pas arba matir pirza adeser. Alma pirza mavo imitzido beser, which imply that since you can normally put a, a if you put simply put a board of four, it can, it can fix a gap that had been ten. So that would imply that really the gaps in the side are also ten. That's what we're dealing with. Um. So what? So what's there? So what, why are these cases not the same? So hot times eka gidu day, hot the lake gidu day. The question is whether or not there are um, there are remnants of the wall, right? Rashi nishtayim in a kotel biaso shlosha or arba tefachim goba al kol pnei pirtzash in anoche la borba, right? So then once you have there, right? Why is it ten? And why is it, why are we, we say things are different? There it's because there's there's still some remnant of a wall. There's remnant of a wall. Then we'll let you use it. We'll let you use the um, the more make ways of dealing with the wall because odds are you're not going to be um, people aren't going to be going th going through the area if there's a nice trip, a nice uh, low wall to trip over. People aren't going to try and use that as a cut. Okay. Now we get two dots. So we're gonna have, now we're gonna have an, an, another new topic. So Tanar Ban and Kate said, "Ma'arvin down with Rabim." So the question is, how can you fix if there's, there's a shifter rabim and you want to include and you want to um, exclude it from the rest of the shifter rabim and include your Arab, how are you supposed to fix it? Um the third peta mikan the core mikan. Right, so so what the time will come say? You put a shorter peta on one side, you put it, you know, then it looks like a doorway on one side, and then on the other side you put you put a lechi and a kora. So which so once so that's how you would that's how you fix for shifter rabim. Kananya Omer, Pachami Omerim, Osa Delat Mikan, Videlat Mikan. Uksyotse Vinik Mas Noel. So, Bejami says, no, in order to fix the restaurant, you have to actually put full doors on both sides. And then, when you're done, you're supposed to lock up, right? You can't simply have the doors there and open, but rather the doors that you actually lock, people can't actually access it, um, can't normally access it. Behil Omerim, Osa Delat Mikan, Velechi Vakor Mikan. So what Abedil says, what do you do? You make a wall on one side and a left and a car on the other side. For Shutra Rabin, right? So and that's how that's how we that's how we fix it. So and then so now there's an obvious question. Now, now there's like wait, a place you're not that, that ruins Arabin and gets them and you can't cross ever on well, Carrying things on shelves, so how are you putting an Arab over the restaurant? Like, what are we talking about? Uh, hot Tanya, yes, I can. I'm a Rabbi Yehuda. Uh, um, me, so yeah, so now, so now we're saying we're just talking about a tick quoting a bright about a case of, of where you of, of where of where you would be trying to arbitrate the restaurant explicitly. So, so Rabbi Yehuda says, "Mi shayu lo shnei batim, shnei sidir shtarabim." Oh, so lechi mikan, lechi mikan, okor mikan, okor mikan. But no, it's not the bemsa. So Rabbi Yehuda is saying, I, "If you own a house on both sides of the shtarabim of the public thoroughfare, what do you do? You simply put a lechi on each side of of, of the shtarabim parallel to your houses, or you put a kor on each side. Then you can simply, you know, no problem carrying from one side of of of, of from one house to the other house through the shtarabim. Not a problem whatsoever." 
So, and then, now the Chumim say, Amrlo, Ein Ma'arvit, Ein Ma'arvit, Rishit Rabbim Bekath. Like, no, you, you can't do that to Rishit Rabbim. Alechi or Kor isn't going to help you if you have Rishit Rabbim, even if you have it on both sides. That's still, that's still no good. Okay. So maybe the Chacham were saying that the problem is, is that you can't fix for Shetra Allah until doing a Lech Yerakora. But then wouldn't that centuries? And then maybe if you tried some, nothing, something else to seal off the Yerushat Rabbim, it would work. Let's say if you decided to put up full doors. That Yerushalayim, that Yerushalayim, if it had not had its wall, its its its, its doors locked at night, it would have been considered to and therefore you would not have been able to um, to, to carry Yerushalayim. Um, that had the same. Um, that, that if they hadn't been locking the, the walls at night, it would have the same problem. Right? So that, it seems to me that if you, that, that if you have a Rishit Rabim, if it has doors that close and lock, and that you actually lock them at night, that it should solve the problem. So, all right, so n- now we're going to try and figure out what exactly does this mean? How does this work? What cases? When are we allowed to start putting walls, uh, put doors on things? So, Amar Yehuda, Here's what we mean to say. So now we're differentiating, right? Before we said do- doors for true Shetarabim. So here we're saying, no, so now we're saying for Mavuot Mavuot Hashim, which is what we got confused before, right? So what does this, what does that mean? That for, if you have a Mavuot that spray, like, like, goes between two Shetarabim, like, like our case on the previous Amud had been with the, um, where we had the, where we had, where we had a Mavuot that connects between two Shetarabim that intersect. Um, you put a steward pentak on one side where it meets the rabim on the other side with lech and akor, and therefore the mavoi and mafulash, the mavoi that connects straight between two rishatarabims, would be excluded. Okay, you see, you see that in the diagram of uh, of uh, in, in, of Tosfot on the right. You see there's rishatarabim and rishatarabim, and then there's um, the der- then there's nothing between the two the two It mar rab amar hilchata katana kama. Look at like kama in terms of the way that you can um, the way that you way, the way that you can fix the rishat rabim. Shmuel amar lachat kananya. So the question is the argument is between whether or not you can do it with whether you do it with plato or sort of pet here. So let's so, um, Here we go. The right, so the not read again. Quoted by 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 the Olshim. Achani said, quoted by Benhil Ben Shama. He said they required doors, doors, or Benhil says two, says you require a a door and an alechi and a kora. So the question is, do we? So who, the question. So we're arguing about, about who do we pass and like. Um. So. Rob says, like Tanakama, uh, it sort of depends on how to Korah, as opposed to Shmuel says, according uh, to that you need to, uh, you need both sort of on the walls. So either you want to say, according to Kananya, so according to Hillel, when we say that you need blood, so it's the locked or unlocked doors, right? It's enough that you have doors, or they have to be doors that you actually lock at night. Tashma. Uh, so let's figure that out. Damar of Yehuda, Amar Shmuel, Enot Sarech Lin Ol, Mechen Amar of Manna, Amar Shmuel, Enot Sarech Lin Ol. So rather, Manna and, and Shmuel said you don't need, you don't need, that you don't need to lock them. It's enough that they, that, that you could lock them, not they're actually, you're locked every single night. Yehuda Amri, Amar of Manna, Bididi, Hava Uvda, Amar of Shmuel, Enot Sarech Lin Ol. Right, so if you said I had the case, where, when I asked Shmuel, he said, you're right, as long as you could lock them is enough, not that you actually lock them. So they said to go, to go after Rabbanon and said, do you have to lock the doors at night or not? Uh, so we'll, we'll get an example. We mentioned before, there's your shalim, that if you had it locked at night, it would be a problem. But we also mentioned another case of a bully right? Another place where 
We also said that if they didn't have the blood, it would, it would have been a problem. But look at the doors they have there, and notice they're covered in dirt. Right? I'd plug my brother. Like there's dirt covered up to halfway to the wall, so there's no way that you can actually get in there. Right? It's covered in dirt, so that means you clearly it's just me. Just the doors is what matters, not that you actually can actively close them or lock them. Um, but I have a not big Martian wall below our little below median, and and and. and and Shmuel had been there, and he had ink for test, which means that you really don't need, which would apply that you don't need to lock them. Wait, so Shmuel saying you need to lock or not lock? Amar Kahana, Hanach Mugufot, Havai. Rather, what what do we say? These women said read Mugufot. Rashi, what does Mugufot mean? Lo hayu kulan to. Mugufot elas kurot. Why? Even though they're just okay. Because if they'd been because. The doors are functioning as doors, not just like they're like you know they're ceremonial. They're like no, they're actual doors, and they're you know just, just kind of got stuck halfway there, and now they're covered in dirt. Rabbi, when we're talking about lock or unlock, do we just mean close or not close? Is there something about locking them as well? Yes, it means fully closed. Then I somebody can't like because if they open and close, that would mean that the the robin still have access. Oh, I see. Okay. Right. So so there's there's so there's the couple of uh, of questions is are we dealing is there something do you need is it you have to have doors period do you need to have, that's one right so blood then the question is do these doors need to um be able to be closed to be locked right versus do these doors have to actively be locked at night right so and we're, we're distinguishing between locking and just closing because even if they're closed it could be opened correct okay as then, it, as then, but you could also argue that you know, look, could also still be like firmly closed, not necessarily like you know, locked, and nobody can get access to it. That's but what I was. We'll, that's we'll what I was uh, trying important. to understand the distinction between. But right. I hear. Yes. So that's my my focus Rishon, that we will. Um, that, uh, we have about two more minutes left, so I don't think we'll be able to get to it. But I encourage everybody to um, to, to to look into that on Shabbos if you have time. Get yeah, summary by, by if you remind me on, on Sunday, I'll give a Just to clarify, while we're starting the same time on Sunday morning, correct? Correct. Okay, thank you. Um, okay. Kiata Ravnachman Amar Panuya Lafariyahu. So, right, so then Ravnachman showed up and he said, get rid of the dirt. Because you have to be able to actually be able to close the doors. You can't simply have ones that you that are covered in dirt. That's not that's not okay. Uh Lo. So maybe the other says you need to actually lock the doors. No. No, they need to be able to be locked. And even if they're not actually locked now, that's good enough. Um okay. Uh so, okay, so, so we're, we're gonna we're gonna stop here um, because uh, for the for the next story again I'm gonna, gonna sum up. Um, so again, we were talking about we started talking about a uh, about a uh, lefty abole about if you have a lefty thing out of the wall and it's too long. Whether what, then we were discussing whether if it, it can actually end up serving up to close off the, it's big enough big enough it stops being a lefty becomes a wall and that's problematic because it doesn't remind you anymore. Then then if, but if you, then the question is how to add a lefty to fix it. Well, then we discussed, well, maybe you don't need that at all because you could say that it's now considered to be majority closed or not closed, uh, depending, on, depending on where it was. Then we got into an argument about how the angles work in terms of the, uh, in terms of the, in terms of the, if, you, if you've got a, if you've got a right angle, Mavoy, does it split into two Mavoy? Is it, or should it be Mavoy Fulash? And we continued on talking about the, how do you fix a a mavoi between two different rabbins, as well as how do you fix a Rishut rabbin itself? And then we get, and then we got into the question of, of having to have doors versus have versus a stored a peta, you know, looks like a, um, a a doorway versus simply a left here or if we have any one until now. Then we were talking, then we were debating within the concept of having doors. Are the doors doors that are exist doors that exist and could be functional? Or doors that you actively need to lock every single night, right? And then, so we will be continuing from how 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 on Sunday, um, and 
I hope everybody has a good Shabbos. If anybody has any questions, um, feel, feel free to ask them now. If anybody um, needs to go, then they're welcome to leave now as well. I have a question. Generally, um, what is the difference between a Maboy and a Chatzar? So the Chatzar is considered to be more of a Rishut Yachid than a than a Maboy is. Because a Chatzar is, your, is the courtyard that generally would be, would be shared by a few families. And then the so then you'd have, and then the Mavoy would be where multiple chutz they wrote empty into um, would be the Mavoy. Have so we're talking about so the the, the ab- absolute Rishut Yachid would be um, would, would be let's say would be let's say it would be a house right with walls around because it's got four walls. Then that then multiple houses open into a shared courtyard. So let's say you know three or four houses now. And then Mavoy is, it gets it, like, it's even more, it's more like a Rishat Rabim because it's a road with entrances on both sides. Right, so people coming in from the side as well as coming in through the, through the main part. So. So Naf Kamina would be that, so you have to be more like careful. Mavoy, Sorry, Naf Kamina would be Mavoy, we have to be, we're more concerned with a Mavoy than a Chatzar as far as making uh, Lehi or Kora because it's more similar to Rishu Sarabim than a Chatzar or not really? Yes, meaning, correct, we'd be, we're, we're, we're more, we, we, they have different DNAM for as to why the different DNAM is, is, a, is a very good question. Um, but as far as which one's closer to Rishu both a Chatzar and a Mavoy are problematic in that they're, 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 not, they're not fully Rishu Tayachids. Right? They're, they're both considered to be karma. Just the difference being is that which direction do they do they do they head towards? Beautiful. So the so the right so the mavoy is one step closer to shirts are beam because mm-hmm. simply because it opens our lane to the shirts are beam, whereas the chutzner opens into the mavoy. But again, by other hand, you also like the chutzner is still having multiple people going into <coughs> it and using it as a thoroughfare, also. So it. it really is problematic. Um, is the is the answer? Um, <clears throat> just that, just so this so way we tried to call the before because we thought, oh, they're basically the same thing. But the reality is, is that they're closely the same thing, but not quite. Okay, so when when the mission at the beginning of the Masechta talks about a maboy, um, and it says that the entrance of the maboy could only be, it has to be ten wide, right? And if it's this is the Rabbana's shita, and if it's wider than ten, then we have a problem, and then and then the height, and uh, that's talking about a maboy and not. A chatzer, because I always thought that was like with a bunch of houses. You're coming in, sorry. I, okay, I, so I I'm just trying off. to understand. So, like, when okay, or or let when the Mishnah at the beginning of the Masechta talks about yeah. the dimensions of how wide or how high uh, the the entrance could be, that's talking about a maboy and not a chatzer. Correct. So would it, but it would the same would apply to a chutzur as well that's going, or does a chutzur ever go into the no. Rishusha Rabbin? No, a chutzur has, different, has different, has different, so chutzur has each different usages. So a chutzur is, is, isn't, isn't, most of the, right, where you keep, then where you'd eat. Then there's the chatzer where you would do, let's say where you would, where if people used to cook, and something more, they would, so they used to do for cooking, um, for, you know, for, if they were, for, they were you know, um, sewing, a lot of like the manual labor during, during the day would be done out in their courtyard. And then the mavoy was basically the way in to get into the chatzer. Okay, got it. So it was, so it was, it was, it was, it was used a lot less um, in terms for, for, you know, for, a daily, for daily activities, it was mainly used as a place you walk through to get from the Rabin um, to there. And also, it was basically, so normally you'd have, as we have now, nowadays we have, you know, we have, you know, say there's a, the, the modern analogy, we've got a cul-de-sac, but right? we've got everybody's, everybody's houses in their front yards, right? So that's like the that's like the way the houses used to be. And then, right, but so what we now call a house, we used to be, was the ancient days, by it and chaser combined. They used to use, but then the chaser was a jointly used area. And then, so it's like, then let's say that, let's say you had multiple houses, right, open up to the same cul-de-sac, and that cul-de-sac has a side road. That side road then leads to, you know, the, the main road in town. 
right? And then that that main road in town then which is relatively straight then leads to to the to the highway, which is a, which then leads to the interstate or the sorry the or the or the throughway, right? So there are different levels of 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 roads along the way. So each and we and so and, and when you and for the main road of the town is Mishrabian, as well as the throughway, the Sriracha, would also be Sriracha there, right? So, so but then the steps along the way, the question is how close is it to being I focus on the ravine or not, or is it close to the Rishut And how do we push it in each of the either direction? So our goal is to try and push whatever we can to be Rishut so we can use it on Shabbos by we, by way of making a wall, making a putting a blanket as a heck air, or by making putting an air around it. And that's the and that's the question. Okay, thank you. Sorry, where are we starting on Sunday? On Sunday, we are um, we are continuing on the bottom of Vavam Bet. Um, tomorrow is uh, where we got we got up to um, it's 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 four lines into the four lines above the um, above the wide lines where it says Hahu Mavui Akum. That's what we're going to be talking about on on Sunday. Uh, um, so until the, and then I recommend everybody goes over if they if they have time on Shabbos just to like glance through to glance through to see which parts they understood and understand and hopefully. That way, if anybody has any questions, I'll be able to explain it on Sunday. That way, we can, you know, all make sure that we're not losing track of all the uh, losing the big track of the big picture because of the um, details. Okay. Mm -hmm. Have a good job. Good job. Okay. Thank you. Have a good job. Good job. Okay.